M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So I'm playing around with my RSBA1 version 2 software because I had to reload it on my computer. I had to borrow the program because I, I lost the, the program. So if someone needs just the software, give me a, a tinkle me an email, m0fxb at outlook.com. Um, but you do need to get the activation code and password from ICOM and you have to pay for that. So I'm just going to show you my setup. So first thing you do is you actually have two apps that you need to open up. The first one is, well, let's just show you it running first. So we'll just click it here. You can see the radio, it will boot up. You've got the remote control software, but there is another program you click. So there's two apps that you click. So if I just click connect, and you see my radio actually turns on. And you can see there is a waterfall. I can control the frequency. Now this is called, like I said, the RSBA1 version 2. And I can control everything, look. You can see the frequency is changing. There you go. On the radio and the software. And the waterfalls here. And you can click the software as well. And obviously that, that moves it as well. And you can have different options here. Of how you want to do things. Not really sure how you get it into scroll mode. And whatever you do on the radio, so if I put my finger on the radio and go scroll mode, that's put us into scroll mode. Not sure if that's if the if the software likes that. I'm running two. I think it's two point four one. Pretty sure it's the latest version. And to get the latest version, you just go to Icon site and um, and you can download the update if you've already got the software. So let's just click this back to spectrum. There you are. It's coming back to life now. Anyway, so let's show you the setup. Now you can obviously remotely connect uh, from outside your house, you know, using your home IP address via your router and certain port settings, or you can just do it locally. I'm doing this locally, which basically means inside my house, you know, computer to to radio using IP addresses like 192168. So let's, we can actually turn off the radio. So watch this. There you are, the radio's off. So let me just show you my settings and how I set this up. So the first thing you do is you go start and find the right app, which is here somewhere. RSBA1, no, why can't I find it? Uh, typical, there it is, Icon Remote, remote Utility. So click that. Program is already open, so it should probably open on my window. Then let's have a look if I can find it. Yes, yeah, this little icon here. Icon here. Very small. Can't hardly read it. <clears throat> so this is it connected. So let's show you the settings now. To show you settings, we have to disconnect. Disconnect the radio. Okay. So these are the settings. You can have a multiple radios. So there is a setup wizard. So what you do, you go click the setup wizard. And the one I wanted was set up a local PC, directly connect the radio and PC, which is this one. So you get four choices and you can set up a server, which means you can connect, say, this ICOM 7300 to this PC and it acts as a server. And then on another PC, you can connect to it. So you have different choices, but the one I chose was this one. And it does, it's quite, you know, intuitive. So look, go next. So this, I'm not going to do the whole process, but go next. And look, it's found, it, we've obviously connected the USB cable to my ICOM 7300. And we've already run the driver that you need to, for this software, which is in the programs, in the programming software. So, and then go, you can search, then you go next. And I've used this board rate, 115200. I know it's COM9 because I found it. If we go right click, device manager, ports, and look, COM9, Silicon Lab CP210. This will show up once you've downloaded the correct driver, uh, which is on the ICOM site. Just put in a 7300 driver. So we know it's 9, and then it's got it there. And then you go next. And if I go next again, it will add it to my list of radios. So I'm not going to do that. Once it shows up, you can, before you actually connect, what you can do is, let's get it right, click this down, go to settings. Now this is what I've connected so I can hear it from the radio. Is icon virtual audio, icon virtual audio. 
there's different things there that's possibly yeah I could have even selected my microphone here that I'm talking into now you see that different uh, codex I'm guessing that would work for FTA not really used it via this software so you can see your different selection speakers default again there are all the selections are there for a microphone and speaker I've ticked AF transmission and mod transmission right click OK so now if I click connect port number is 9 it tells me the port number is 9 I click OK now before I connect here on this part of the software the RASBA1 remote control go to connect set and I just need to make sure it's port 9 94H which is in the radio I'll just show you when the radio is on uh, let's just quickly turn it on it's not that hard to find so the radio is on there hopefully you can see it you go menu set then go to connectors and go to CIV and look look at what I've put in there CIV USB remote transceiver 94.H transceiver is on 94 again I've got the board rate set at auto because that's what worked for me I'll just show you the rest uh, echo back is off board rate I think that's about all you need to know data let's go to just looking back I've already set it to see it to um, to use the USB cable data mod is on mic USB serial function CIV let's go down so have a look that's basically what I've got and it worked data off mod says USB everything else I've left as default so we can turn the radio off and then this says EO I haven't chucked that board rate 115209 USB here that's my selection of the model software closing turns off the radio okay so that's good isn't it? when you close the software the radio goes off click OK so once you've done that then you just hit connect and it all comes to life and I did find that I had to click up here where it says spectrum scope a couple of times to um, there you are that's working now and you can actually let's, let's turn it up a bit and we got filters squelch RF gain just with your mouse You just click it and then you can go up and down with the wheel. And you've got different modes here. It's been a while since I used a tuner. All sorts, look at that. Filters here. it changing there tuner tune preamp you've even got memories you can add memories I know it's not letting me do the volume not sure why it's not letting me go up and down with the volume well I'm sure it did last time maybe there's a little selection here on the left NR noise blanker let me know someone how to do why the volume isn't working so it's not letting me mute either although I can hear it selecting it it's not actually letting me do that so let me know um, AGC attenuator antenna it's fun because it means I don't have to turn the radio on. 
and then the idea is uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my laptop do a separate video on this I'm going to go to my laptop and I'm going to control it from my laptop anywhere in the house wirelessly which, I'll, which will be fine and to do that you have to set a server here and again it's a, there's a server wizard for that I'm going to do that in a separate video uh, we need to get the right IP address for my for this computer to set up the server but that's all it is you put the IP address in of this computer and then it connects to the radio and then wirelessly on your wireless network lets you access it via your laptop which is pretty cool especially when I've got a new laptop which is quite smart as a Nitro 5 so lots more to this look CWQ I haven't used that input how does that work? So M0FXB, can we send that? Log. Yeah, I, I haven't used this, but M0FXB. Yeah, I, let, I definitely don't know how to use that. <laughs> uh, 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 so, yeah, someone else, teach me how to use the Kia section in RSB1 version 2 voice is that like mic gain monitor let me know memory set mode remote doesn't need to be on at the moment when I click that do you see that I can hear the radio clicking does that mean I'm now remotely available I'll leave it on I love it this is good. It looks very smart. So yeah, enjoying it, as you can see. We can change bands, click here. Just remember how to change the bands a minute. It looks like it's here. 3.5, 20 megs. Very quiet on 20. I need to tune it, don't I? Um, power, let's find power. Yeah, so power's here. If you look at the radio, I know it's not clear. As I turn it, the power goes up. You've got A and B bands here. Like I said, you can run the tuner. A to B as well. Duplex. Split. That's pretty cool, isn't it? It looks nice with split, doesn't it? Um, RIT, XET and clear and you just turn this little knob right on your mouse surprised I haven't used this more preamp, attenuator notch reminds me how great the 7300 is and I've done this on the 705 it's just as good ADC, IP plus ATT mic set there you go different selections there set another one there drive gain see the way it's got here 2 meters 70 and even 23 that'll be for the 9700 and the um, 705 Notch. Look at this one here. Digi Select. Must be again for those other radios. Tone. No, not working. Oh, look. Steps. Tone steps. You can change it here. It's good, isn't it? XFC. That's taken me to the other one. You can access a 6 meter repeater with the ICOM 7300 because it's got tones and tone frequencies and it works well. I've tried it. And 4 meters. I, have not, not, I haven't really used 4 meters. If you've used 4 meters, let me know because uh, I like to sort of give that a go on my 7300. So I hope you find this interesting. I'll put the links in the description for this software. Unfortunately, I think the cheapest one you can find is about £80. But you know you buy it once and it, it works on quite a few icon radios there is a, a separate 
control VFO you can plug into the PC as well. I think they're about a hundred pound, maybe a bit more. Can't remember the make and model of it, but it's something like the RC twenty eight or something like that. Um, and yeah, I sort of think I'd plug it and use it once, never use it again. That's why I haven't bought it. This software, I was very lucky. I got it at a very good price, so no regrets there. But, so thanks for watching my channel. Please like and subscribe. Catch you on air. All the best.